Welcome back my fellow collectors. I'm Calvin aka Statue Fanatic here with another review and this is a really special review for me. This is a piece from DC's black and white line. This piece was released nearly nine years ago back in 2011. This is a piece that I've been trying to get and I've wanted for some time but for one reason or another I didn't pick it up and then when I decided to pick this piece up it was sold out everywhere and DC's decided that they weren't I guess it was out of print or whatever and this is one of the pieces where they've not decided to do like a second edition or anything like that of this one this was sculpted by the incredible Jean St. Jean and this is also based on the artwork from the graphic novel The Joker written by Brian Azzarello um, I think Batman Dam which is very recent is considered to be the sequel to that uh, graphic novel Last year um, in San Diego, at San Diego uh, Comic Con, I had the pleasure of meeting Gene. I went to a panel from, uh, for Diamond Select and he was on that panel. And after the panel, I introduced myself to him and he asked if I wanted to go to the Batman Museum. And of course, I wanted to go to the Batman Museum. Uh, I think it, this was the year that uh, the Comic Con was celebrating the 80th anniversary of the Cape Crusader. But what was really cool about the museum was that DC had on display all 100 of the black and white statues that they produced until this point. And it was really cool being there with Gene because I had him there and he was pointing out uh, the ones that he had sculpted. And of course he pointed out this particular statue here. So after that, I definitely wanted to get the statue even more. But the problem was that the price of this guy had gone up significantly. I'm talking over $300 to get this statue. Long story short, I ended up hooking up with a collector and he was willing to sell it to me for cost. That's, I think, $70 was the original cost of this particular sat statue and that was freaking awesome. Like I mentioned, it's not a new statue, but it's new to me because I just got it and I wanted to share this with you guys. So, this absolutely stunning piece, I mean, it is a beautifully sculpted piece. We're going to stop talking about that, get this out of this box, and talk about the statue. So, here you have it. This is Joker out of the box. And, uh, my God, this is one really beautifully sculpted statue. And I'm going to take a leap out here and say this is one of the best sculpted Jokers out there uh, and most people probably won't pay a lot of attention to it because it's such a small scale it's not one of the quarter scale statues this statue is about five inches wide and only about seven inches tall but if you take the time slow down and just look at the beauty of the sculpt of this statue you would probably be blown away by it the sculpt the head sculpt for example the detail in his face is just absolutely phenomenal i'm gonna just turn this around real quick so you can just see the entire statue how it flows how the cape is flowing it's just really a gorgeous piece this is one that i know DC has reproduced some of their black and white statues like the Batman Who Laughs, has, who has become extremely popular into a 12 inch uh, statue. I wish they would reproduce this into a 12 inch figure. I would be one of the first ones to buy this. Um, again, as I turn it around, you can just see just how beautifully it flows. You've got Joker in mid stride with this gun as if he's just done something or he's on a mission to do something very, very sinister, very, very, very bad, if you will. Um, we'll go back to his facial sculpt. I mentioned that earlier. Just take a look at the detail in his face. Um, I know a lot of sculptors, we've talked about this before. They're digital sculptors, which is amazing. Uh, the computer does amazing things, but there is just something about the handprint of a sculptor with this hand sculpted uh, type of art. And you can just see it in here, you know, it's, it's, it's just beautiful. And then as you look at all of the wrinkles and the crease and the cut across his, his face, it just looks extraordinary. Um, looking at the shading in it, even though this is a black and white statue, the, the, even the paint job on this is just done absolutely fantastic. Uh, we'll just turn it around here. You can see all of the, on the cape here, or the trench coat that he's wearing, you can see the wrinkles and all the folds. And what really is just so cool, you can just feel him 
brushing this jacket behind him or a wind, a gust of wind picking it up or something like that. But the way that this flows in the air like that, I mean, it just looks so just smooth the way that it goes. It is in conjunction with the stride that he's, he's, he's in. It just looks absolutely amazing. As you look at the front of the statue, you can see the buttons and all of that cool stuff that's on the front of it. Extremely detailed, just looks phenomenal. There is different types of shading in the black and white. There is the matte color, and then you have the shiny, the shininess of the buttons. And then the way the light catches it as you look around it, the black and white uh, and the gray tones really do a great job capturing the light, just giving you so much depth to this piece. As you look at his pants, you can see how they twist around his leg as he's walking, flows perfectly with the statue, and the detail in his shoes, absolutely uh, beautiful. Uh, the gun that he's carrying, you can see tons of detail in the gun as well. As I turn that around, you can see that. Um, the hair sculpt, everything about this piece just looks really amazing. Gene has done an amazing job with this piece. I wish DC would blow this up and make a larger scale of this. I mean, I could go on and on about how much I like this statue, how cool it looks. And I know a lot of collectors who may collect some of the larger scale pieces may not pay much attention to this, but if you slow down and you just look at the beauty of the art, you would definitely appreciate this. But that's about all I have about this particular piece. And this is a perfect example of, of the joy that I'm talking about when you just slow down, collect what you like, not the hype, forget about what everybody else is into, what's the latest fad, just what it is that catches your eye, what it is that you love, what it is that evokes certain emotions in you. Those are the types of pieces when you collect them, you will find they stay in your collection forever. And I will conclude with that. Until next time, my friends, peace.